Good morning, folks. It's about 3.45 in the morning, and we're about to go to work. I'm going to take you guys through my day at work, take you guys through my day at my private business, and I'm going to take you guys through a monster back workout today. We're going to be deadlifting. My goal is to get somewhere over 400 pounds or so. We're doing heavy sets of six today, so it's going to be fun. I'll put the workout down below, and I'll also put a timestamp down below, so if you guys just want to watch the workout and don't really want to see my day, but you know the deal. My name's Quan. If you don't already know, my goal is to motivate you guys, to help you guys get in the best shape as you possibly can show you guys what it's like to be a personal trainer in LA and what it takes to afford living out here other than that we're gonna have a good time and have some fun so I'm gonna get up get to work and try to get here before 450 455 all right I take my dog out all that good stuff you guys have seen all that before but if you want to see a breakdown of what I do for my morning routine let me know other than that let's get to the gym and last thing I do a series on celebrity workouts if you guys want to see a specific celebrities workout program and plan you want me to grade it and all that after being a trainer for 13 years I'll grade it break it down see if it's right for you or something you should try let me know comment the celebrity down there below and I'll make a video on it all right let's buckle up let's enjoy the vlog don't forget to like comment subscribe if you are interested or if this was good to you and uh yeah let's see what it's like as a day in the life of a personal trainer and go through my full back workout here in la all right wish i could say back workout correct it's early guys don't you judge me back workout let's get it hey folks this grind is different it's 4 56 a.m and i am just getting to work right now super tired sun's not even out man about a couple hours before it but we're here trying to make our dreams our reality Let's get in here, let's crush this, and uh, yeah, let's get to work. All right, let's get it. All right, so we're here at work. Hey, like I said, it, or, <clears throat> it is 4.55 in the morning, walking in. Lights are turning on for the first time for the day. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a good one today, folks. I'm gonna really start kicking off these vlogs kind of a little more abrupt, kind of showing you what I have going on. But I just want to say, you can't achieve your goals if you're not willing to make sacrifices. For me, my sacrifice is getting up at 3.30, 3.40 in the morning, some days like this. I'm a little tired, my brain's a little groggy, a little foggy, but I know that this will pay off. So we're gonna get in here, teach some classes, man. I got my room set up, I actually worked last night. I'm um, gonna get these people in here, get this first class of the day going, and take you guys with me on my day today, all right? So like I said, it's 4.50, say 4.57 a.m. Let's uh, let's see what this day is like, folks. We're gonna have a good one. We're gonna get a good workout in today, which I'm gonna document on here as well. So don't worry, you're gonna get to see the workout. We're gonna have a good time, we're gonna have some fun, and I appreciate you guys. Subscribe, comment, like, share. Let's get this like goal for this video to like 25 likes maybe. You know, maybe a hundred if you're feeling generous. I really would appreciate that. Other than that, let's get to this day. Let's go. So, I don't know if you guys know this, but you can't hear the music in the video because it would get copyrighted. So, had a bunch of classes, went really well. There's some of my coworkers having fun. Um, just wanted to show you guys what my classes are like. Really full, really good, great energy. But yeah, let's get back to the vlog. Let's go. All right, so I just finished my classes for the morning. They were tough. Three classes, pretty decent sizes each one. First class at five something in the morning was about 10 people, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Then we had about like 30 and then like a 25-ish. So it was a good amount of classes. Room is all cleaned up and set up for the next people. I won't be here though. I'm gonna go train my private clients now. So I'm gonna take you guys with me while I go train some private clients. Whew. This is what my mornings are like now, guys. This is what we do. This is how we're making, uh, you know, surviving out here and making our dreams a reality. So I was walking out of work and um, heard like a sad song come on. Um, the one where it's like, um, I don't care how long it takes as long as I'm with you. It's like a, it was like a viral song earlier this year or late last year. I was just thinking about my dog that had passed away, Annie, this year and like all the stuff I've been through. It made me a little emotional, man. You know, as I'm working these long weeks, these 50, 60 hour weeks, man, trying to rebuild my life still and take care of business in a good way. I just want to say to y'all, bro, like, no matter what you go through, just know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Just know that, you know, you don't have to be okay all the time. You can have your moments, but you have to, after those moments pass, you have to get back to work. You gotta keep showing up. You gotta keep making your dreams a reality. You gotta keep being the person that you've always wanted to be, or at least attempt to. I'm not gonna lie, man, that, it, it got me, man. I had to got choked up for a second, but as I'm about to get to these client, man, I'm gonna go in there and bring some great energy. 
we're gonna rock and roll we're gonna have a good time and i'm gonna continue to make these videos and inspire you guys man i'm gonna challenge myself to make a lot more videos long form a lot more shorts because i want this to be my career and yeah i might cry man i might have some tough days but i'm not gonna quit i'm not gonna quit i'm gonna keep showing up all right let's get to this journey All right, so we made it to Gold's. I'm training this one here behind me. She's doing pull-ups now. Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm having so much fun. So, so much fun? Wow, so much fun. she's swearing at us, guys. No, nice. She really likes training with me. Um, we've been training for a while now. Um, nah, but thank, thank you to her. Oh, now she's saying I'm a liar. Um, she's really my client, though. Look at her, having a great time, crushing those pull-ups. Nah, guys, I really love what I do. You know, I get to have fun with a lot of great people. Thank you to Juju for being in my video for a quick second. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna make sure she can't walk out of here. All right, let's go. All right, just finished my couple sessions here at the Mecca for the morning. As you guys saw, I had those three classes as well. So that's five overall appointments before 10 a.m. I'm gonna go home, get a little bit of rest, come back and get this workout in today. All right, so we're back here at Gold's about to get our back workout in. So I'm gonna show you guys my deadlift today. Um, I'll probably either write the whole workout down below or just tell you at the end, we're gonna do some deadlifts, we're gonna do some, um, some, um, lap pull downs as well just a couple movements today probably no more than five movements the primary focus though is going to be the deadlift we're going to see how much we can get up and get going today other than that man we're going to keep grinding this thing it's um been a long day it's about four o'clock now had a couple clients uh took a little nap in the middle of the day walked blue and uh yeah let's get this thing back going all right so time to get this workout going folks so we're about to have some fun today um we're going to be deadlifting and we're going to see how high we can go i'm thinking at least about like four at least 495 today we'll see how it goes i'm going to get some power today try to go for my heavy six or heavy three to heavy six so we're gonna have some fun with this one today um we gotta really be controlled with our form really take our time let's stay with this first rep see where we're at see what we're feeling and then i'll take you guys up to my max set again folks i'm training for a little bit more strength but i'm not maxing out every workout anymore i've kind of matured from that let's get to it again a pretty heavy rep range for me really working on controlling my core folks really working on you know figuring out what i can really pull and for how many reps you know a lot of times i find myself always going for that single rep max every time i train for a while there and i plateaued pretty hard for over a year so i'm just in here trying to get it done today Whew. all right 405 for six this is gonna be quite the doozy i'm a little nervous but i know that i can do this I've got to believe in myself and, and, and give me some good pulls, all right? Jeez, man, you never know what you're capable of until you try. And I think with my training right now, I'm, I'm, with my compound lifts, I'm going to focus more on, like, powerlifting splits. And then with my, um, with my like, regular movements, we're still going to go with that hypertrophy range. I just want to document more with you guys. Like I said, I love YouTube. And this year, excuse me, it was such a rough year. You guys see me working, all the stuff I'm doing. It was a tough year, so I just want to be able to give you guys good content and, and help you guys get better in the gym and train a lot of people always they ask me what do i do why do i know how i look the way i look i'm gonna just show you guys man so keep tuning in we're gonna get hella workouts up we're gonna keep pushing all right 405 up next big chest brace that core we're gonna sing down gonna pull that slack out of the bar crank on here folks like I said we would five plates on here and 
they got the little nuggy two and a half pounds those weights have a purpose now we're at 500 even the goal is going to be four to six here four to six on the goal um, am i nervous absolutely we're going to try to get some good pulls here we're going to take our time and uh we're going to see how this thing goes let's go uh, if you want something you never had before you'll do something you've never done before training up my training style let's pull this baby no use in crying, crying and whining now we're here we gotta tuck the shirt in because it's a serious business, okay? We gotta tuck the shirt in. But it's also to show you guys I don't have a belt, no straps, none of that stuff. We just out here. Just me. Just me. Six piece in a biscuit, baby. Six piece in a biscuit. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Two more for a hater. Two more. We gotta call it. All right. Five. We ended up with five. Four to six with the goal. Ended up with five. Right in the middle. Gotta know when not to heart yourself. But I'll take it. 500 for five, not a bad day. All right, let's move on to the rest of this workout. Remember, lower back, always keep it tight. Keep your core tight when you can no longer brace, folks. It's imperative, once your bracing goes, that you take a break. If you're not bracing your midsection properly, you will get injured, folks, okay? Heavy set, 500 for five, easy money, lightweight. Let's move on, baby. I'm not gonna lie, man, that 500 for, um five man was crazy i wanted six man but when i was gonna reset to do that six rep i just felt like i didn't have any like structural integrity in my midsection so we're gonna move on now man get some other movements in but dang oh, five though i've never done 500 for five so that's uh that was good we're starting to move that weight pretty smoothly um i feel like i can definitely improve i feel like i can get my form tighter as well but we're gonna start lifting with straps and a belt very very soon so we should see these numbers kind of start to come up uh, sometimes I just like to see what my body can do and what it can handle. So then, let's move on, man. God, I wanted that, though. Oh, it's been a long day, but what time is it? 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I've been up since, what, 3.45? I think we did all right to have been up this long. So let's move on, man. All right. Sure got to come off, man. We're feeling, feeling decent. Got the layers on. Oh. I don't think I'm going to have much of a pump right now because all I did was deadlift and do one set of last, but... Let's see where we're at right now. Oh, I think I know how to take my shirt off now. Oh yeah, we're feeling decent. Got a little fullness today. Didn't get my calories as much as high as I'd like to today, so I'm definitely aware that I might not look my absolute best. But let's go from the back, see what these lats look like. Show you guys the second set, and then we're gonna move on. Let's move on. Go one set here. We've got a seated cable row. Big chest here. All right, folks, we're gonna show you one set. We got a seated cable row, big chest here. Head up, chest up. Drive those elbows straight back. I like to go a little bit wider with my row instead of that traditional narrow one. Again, I'm already pretty fatigued because of the deadlift sets. I ended up doing about six sets of deadlift today. So just keeping that chest big trying to pull with our whole back here but not rock or lean too much now we're down to reps of 10 to 12 reps here not crazy on the weight all right we're gonna move on here again three to four sets all right back's feeling pretty good lats feel good the rows have been nice just uh like i said taking it really seriously here man you know when you have long days and you work a job like i want to show you guys that you can still get it in you can still get your workouts in even though you're tired even though you're a little run down don't make excuses just get in here and get it done 
You might not hit all your goals right away, but they'll come as you keep showing up and as you keep putting in the work, all right? So let's keep working. All right, so if you think about it, we've already done a lat movement. We've already done a horizontal pull. We've already done our deadlift. So lats are gonna be pretty exhausted here. You're gonna be pretty tired. So this is where you really see what you have in the tank by putting the pull-ups later in the workout. Anyone can do pull-ups when they're fresh, but when you're a little tired, it really makes a difference. So the goal is gonna be for me to get to close to 10, really emphasizing the lats here, okay? Let's get it. So as you saw, as I was going down with that, it was more about keeping the tension on my lats. I don't have to fully lock out and squeeze my elbow. Everybody's like, oh, walk out, walk out. Tension, tension, tension is my goal here. I'm trying to grow my back. I don't care about being the best person to do pull-ups. Understand your goal. If you want to be a great strict pull-up guy, do that. But if you want to grow, keep the tension on the muscle that you're targeting at the time. I want thick lats, so I do pull-ups that are focused on my lats, all right? Let's keep moving, let's keep pushing. Three sets there, I got two more to go. It's gonna be a tough one. But hey, physique's looking decent, feel pretty good today. Here's the back pump so far. So starting to get that density, I'm in that 220s range right now. But hey, we're gonna keep, keep the series going, keep grinding, and we're gonna see where we end up. Today we're gonna go with a single arm, a single arm row here, okay? I like to get a nice little tripod stance. This is set number three for me. We're going with the 90. Again, we're picking weight we can control. We already kind of maxed ourselves out on that deadlift. My central nervous system is fried. So we're gonna go sets of eight to 10 here. Three to four sets. Probably more like three though. Here, brace that core. Drive that elbow back. Try not to use momentum. Try to keep that dumbbell as tight to the body as possible, all right? Rip it up. Nice and controlled. There we go, team. It was also fucking weird because it was like a real experience. Just like that, folks. Got some guys literally yelling on their phone right now. I, I can't stand when people do that, but it is what it is. They probably can't stand I'm filming. Luckily, Gold allows me to film, so it doesn't matter. I'm actually supposed to be filming here, so that's kind of fun. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was a good workout today. Again, folks, we're just taking it one day at a time, really trying to see where we where we stack up right now, right? I'm in a phase where I'm just trying to get back in on top of my fitness. I'm not trying to be super lean right now. I'm trying to put on quality muscle while still maintaining athleticism. So if you guys want to keep following that journey, let me know. Like, I've been saying this for a while, but that series, man, of me doing celebrities' workouts and famous people's workouts is going to continue. So if you made it this far in the video, comment down below who you want me to do next, all right? We're going to head home and wrap this video up. But that was our workout today. Five movements, three to four sets each movement, except for the deadlift which we did five to six sets heavy rep range was that four to six rep range so it was heavy that rir reps in reserve or that you know with, with about a one or two reps left in the tank um with that deadlift though for that heavy six that last set i actually went for my max at six reps so it was tough other than that though appreciate you guys let's head to the house sheesh all right so we're walking down abbott kenny right now one of the most beautiful streets in all of LA with aligned with palm trees, all the cool stuff. We got a lot of shops, a lot of cool businesses, both big and small. Headed home though, we're gonna let Blue out, take him for a little walk real quick, but kinda of want to touch on some training methodologies, guys. So one of the biggest mistakes I made as I've been training over the years for myself personally, is I, I seem to push a little bit hard in terms of going heavy too early. Proper programming is gonna prevent poor performance. So make sure you program, make sure you understand what each rep range means and why you're doing what you're doing. For me overall, I've learned that if I actually take the time to work on those rep ranges and take the time to slowly progress, I have much better strength gains. Don't max out every lift. Don't go for a new single rep PR every lift, right? I've been training myself now for probably 31, 17 years. And I'll be 32, so it'll be 18 years this year. I started working out when I was 14. And it took me like 10 years to figure that out. Even as I became a trainer, I worked with my clients a certain way, but me personally, I didn't have the discipline to not push it every workout. So make sure you scale it back, document, write down everything, and you'll be great. If you need help, of course you know I got you folks. But with these vlogs, I kind of want to provide you guys with some more value. Show you guys my life, some of the entertaining days, some of the slow days, but also show you guys like, you know, what it's like living out here. So let's get home, let's get blue, and we'll wrap the video up after I check on some of my online coaches.